Hey guys, welcome back to the Starkville YouTube channel. For this video, we're going to look at the Menards Crazy Days sale ad. Uh, I just got it in the paper today, my newspaper, and it's not on their website, it's not on their app, so I add it to my website, Starkville.net, and you're looking at my Starkville.net deals app for Android users, and I put it on there also, so we're going to look at it on the app. Um, I was just going to record it with my phone and show you guys the ad itself, but... Uh, getting a weird glare and stuff off the off the light and I just my normal setup is occupied right now real quick before we get into the uh, deals I added just these little lines these updates at the bottom of the home page of the app just so you guys can see uh, recent things that have been added so yesterday I added those 150 Harbor Freight coupons today I added the crazy day sale that we're looking at and then I also added the farm and fleet deals that are valid until I think June 20th but the sale prices don't go valid uh, or don't go live until tomorrow. If you hear that noise, I'm not taking the world's longest piss. Uh, actually, I have a fish tank about two feet to my right. So, who knew fish lived this long? I think this thing's been alive for like 15 years. It's the only fish in a 29 gallon tank. And I mean, how long is he gonna live? I'm not buying any more fish. I'm waiting for him to kick the bucket. But I'm gonna keep feeding him till he does. Uh, if you want to subscribe to the email list and get these Menards post emailed directly to you, there's that button at the top. The Crazy Day sale has a lot of free stuff, a lot of really cool deals, so we'll just kind of glance through it and I'll let you know what I think. Uh, these are good from the 8th through the 10th. I also have a list at the bottom of the page. If you don't have the app, you can go to my website, struggleville.net, and follow along there. Also, it's the exact same post. And I know some of this stuff's probably going to be hard to read, but it's as big as I can make it on my phone. Let's see, safety glasses. They do those free all the time. I think it's either four or six. The limit's four. Also, you can click on any of these to load another, the full size of the image, but I'm trying to avoid that. The gas trimmer head. Um, it's a limit two, and they've had this before. It's actually really cool if we can get a decent look at it. So it's a, a circle with these three like blades that form a Y and you put it on the, the end of a weed whacker. Um, I thought it was a really cool idea but the reviews were really bad and they talk about like this metal band around the outside breaking and flying off and when I started reading that I was like yeah I'm not even going to try that. Not only that I don't even want to sell this thing because I'm going to get sued or I don't know. So I'm just going to return it. It's going to be a pain in the ass. He could do it. My dad was telling me what he does, and I think he's ridiculous. He moved down to Florida, and uh, he put a circular saw blade on the end of his weed whacker. I'm like, you're going to cut your foot off. But anyways, yeah, get this fitting. Okay, 99 cents on the uh, little lighters. It's a pretty good deal. We have free cabinet bars, cabinet poles. Looks like they have satin, nickel, and bronze finish, and a limit of 12. Not too bad. I kind of like these little, like, sliding barn doors, but I feel like if I was going to do it, I would get actual old doors and old hardware, not just some repurposed thing made in China or whatever. I have these concrete forms I thought were kind of neat. I'd never do it, but cool idea. These things over here, if, oh, I forgot. I don't have a mouse. I can't point. You guys can't see what I'm pointing to. The little fence things on the right. I actually did pretty good on one of those. I can't remember if it was a net gain of like $5 or something because the rebate had overlapped a sale price. So it was only like the first two days of the sale where it was actually a net gain. And I bought, I don't know, 10 of them. And if you'd like to buy them, I have them listed for $49.99 on eBay. I've sold four or five of them so far. Look at that. Uh, looks like we have some free two-pack hang-it-all brackets. Different style, but the same purpose as the Harbor Freight 99-cent V-hang, or whatever they call theirs. This thing I thought was a really good deal, and I already have a miter saw stand, so I don't think I have a purpose for it. But $20 after the rebate? That's awesome. And mine is essentially the same thing. The... The top uh, arms, the, the brackets that hold the lumber on the top there, you see them on either side. 
Mine's a little bit different, but it's got the same little handles that attach to the saw and the, the whatever the things are called, the arms that come out. I don't know, I'm sure there's a name for it that I just can't think of. You got free aprons, which isn't the coolest thing in the world. That's kind of meh. Stuff a burger for two ninety nine. See this thing? It just looks like a like a little leaf blower on a stick to clean your gutters. Eighteen volt lithium ion. Easy smart gutter cleaner. It's only ten bucks, but I don't know. Doesn't sound appealing. That works back up here. Forty nine ninety nine. Uh, I think the Portland Harbor Freight blower mulcher, whatever thing, is right around the same price. Either forty nine ninety nine or thirty nine ninety nine. Can tell you which one's a better quality though. Did you hear? Um, the Miss America pageant is no longer going to judge the contestants based on their physical appearance. So when I tell them fools, it's called a beauty pageant. If they hit it their way. In a couple years, we'll see Miss America be Rosie O'Donnell or some shit. Looking awful. Is this world coming to? We got a bag dispenser that is free after rebate. I can't read it. Again, you can click on these if you actually go on it and read the fine print a little bit better, but I don't want to have to reload pages back and forth. Oh, round electric burner. I think that was a limit 12 if you wanted those. And some of this other stuff we've seen free before, like this pizza cutter, two for a dollar. They've been free in the past. We have the uh, bar buddies that have been free a ton, so now they're two for three dollars. I don't know, they can't get rid of them when they're free. I don't know why all of a sudden they think they're going to get three dollars for them. Can opener. This can opener, I tried it because I needed a new one, and it's the flimsiest metal you'd ever see in your life. It couldn't open, I don't know, what's something really easy to open? Couldn't couldn't open a shit I don't know but it's really flimsy it ain't doing nothing the utensil set actually seems kind of cool but it's uh, limit one you can only get one of them another thing in the news do you guys see that kid who was trying to act all tough with some dude you know, I saw the video on twitter and it had been retweeted like a million times if I think about it after this video, I'll retweet it just so it's in my feed if anyone wants to look it up, uh, at Struggleville PJ. But this kid, they're like out in a park and it's a two minute video, and he's like getting in this guy's way and chest bumping him, and and I guess the, the background story was the kid was keying cars or messing with cars out in the parking lot, and the guy caught him and yelled at him about it or something. But the kid just like keeps stepping in front of him every time he turns the kid steps right in front of him and he's like chest stomach to chest really well the kid's almost his size actually and uh the guy's on the phone and he can't hear everything he says but he says something about like what's someone's little brother's name and you better get his mom over here to come pick him up or get rid of him or something and then uh the guy tries to walk away and eventually he's pushing the kid, but not like with his arms. He's just like walking into him because the kid won't move, right? So they're almost like sumo wrestling for a minute. And the kid just starts nailing this dude in the side or in the shoulder. And the guy kind of pushes him away a little bit the first time. The kid keeps punching him. The next thing you know, the guy grabs him by the neck and, I don't know, pushes him. or I don't know, they kind of struggle for five feet or so. Then he pushes him to the ground and the kid just starts screaming and yelling out. This guy choked me, this guy choked me, and all sorts of stuff. And then some other lady comes over and says, no, I saw the whole thing. And there's another video, actually, if you go through the uh, feed of this tweet, someone kind of has another video that picks up where the first one left off. And he's screaming at this woman, calling her a whore and all this stuff. And I was like, I wouldn't have the patience for dealing like the kid like that. And that dude is lucky as hell that it was on tape because you know that little kid screaming, Oh, he choked me, he beat me, he did all this. Man, that kid got what was coming to him. He should have gotten worse than that. And then I couldn't believe there were some people in the comments saying, Oh, he's an adult, he can't be touching that kid. I'm like, 
the kid is almost his side and was like wailing on him. And the guys have spent the last few minutes trying to walk away from the kid. Like, that's just ridiculous. Should have broke his damn nose. Anyways, microwave, that was a tangent that took longer than I thought. Uh, microwave egg cooker. It's free after rebate. Uh, this ball jar thing is actually a pretty good deal. I think they had them on sale last time for either $7.99 or $6.99. So getting down to $4.99, we're headed in the right direction there. $0.49 cents for the multi-use squeegee. Got the little projector alarm clock. That's kind of cool. I don't think I'd ever use it, but... Hell, I try to avoid ever having to use an alarm clock, period. That's awful. I swear. Waking up early just ruins my day. These Rust-Oleum, uh... Right here. Never Wet Liquid Repelling Treatment. That's been free after eBay before, but I'm almost sure... It was either $9.99 or $14.99 was the price before. Unless I'm getting it confused with something else. But it's definitely been free because I have at least one of those in my basement right now. And I wouldn't have bought it otherwise. We got some ready shades. I usually don't even buy these things because I feel like they're not worth anything and take up too much space. Different flooring stuff. Got some napkins. I don't remember what the limit was that. I, I made I put this on the list, but the napkins I couldn't find any information. They're not actually listed on the Menards website, so I don't know. There's a couple other free things down here I thought. The dog uh dog shit bags. Those have been free a bunch of times and apparently there's two different kinds. Then the ceramic pet bowls. I also don't get those just because they're so breakable and awkward, but free. I think I might get this hummingbird feeder if I can find it. Monica cleared out like a whole section of yard last week, two weeks ago, something like that. And um, we put a ton of mulch or wood chips down and added a bird feeder that was on the property already. And I added a bee house. And they, I saw you guys saw me pick that up in the last video. And I just added a bird feeder to that area today so I'll probably get these little things if I think of it maybe add those I got the picture frame four by six inch sometimes I'll show you someday I'll show you guys that uh little bird area and the um, solar rechargeable batteries they have double A's and triple A's this looks like it's a I can't read it something I think it's 10 four packs is what it said I don't remember now but anyways um, they always call them solar, but I'm not really sure what the difference is between a rechargeable non-solar battery and solar battery. The only thing I, that I think I've seen in the past is that the solar versions are 1.2 volt batteries, whereas a regular rechargeable battery is 1.5 volt. I could be wrong, but I know I've seen double and triple A batteries at both of those voltages. That part I'm not wrong about. So then we just get to... The regular list down here just so it's easier for people to find if they wanted to look it up on the Menards website having the SKU number and everything and then below this we still have the other post because it's valid until the 10th um, of the other free stuff that's going on right now so there you go guys a little bit different format but if you want to check out the crazy day sale ad I will have a link down below otherwise as you can see this is on my app and you can check it out there so thanks for watching guys take care